Hey y'all, good morning. It's your girl, Stay Back. So I, this comment really like pulled a string on my heart. Once you said patterns in the bloodline, that one hit. I felt though, but I know I was supposed to change the cycle, shaking my head. Now that I can open up my kids' eyes to do so. Open your, opening your kids' eyes to do so is not enough. In Exodus 20 and 5, it says, this, um, Sins of the father will fall on the daughter and the son down to the third and fourth generation. So it implies that uh, your unresolved issues will fall on your children. Right? So if we're still alive, we're still able, we still got blood running through our veins, why are we so quick to give up and breaking these curses if God chose us to do this? Not only are we putting curses on them, now they have to deal with the consequences of our disobedience as parents to pass on curses to them because we were just simply tired, because we just simply wanted to give up. The purpose of the devil fighting you is because he really wants our children right at our big adult ages the devil is not really as concerned with us as we think yes he wants to keep us in the generational perimeter of said curse on our bloodline right but most importantly he wants your children he wants the kids he wants their mind see we as adults we're knowledgeable we're coming into the knowledge of what we need to do and what we need to break imagine being a child coming into adulthood and now you got to deal with the curses generational curses on your bloodline because your mom and dad simply wanted to give up of course you're gonna want to give up but the kids should be motivation enough not to give up this is not like a badge this is from a mother to a mother there's plenty of times i wanted to throw in the towel and god threw it back there's plenty of times i was like i'm just going to inform my daughters and my sons that this 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 and that happening but guess what though disobedience is still disobedience this is a consequence for that and we can't pick and choose what consequences fall on our kids or not. So you might as well get up, dust your, dust your feet off, right? And keep at it. Keep hitting them curses. Keep fasting. Keep praying. Keep trusting. Keep believing. You probably in, in, in a place to where you, you, just, you just lost faith. That you don't have enough faith. You got to ask God to give you the strength, the faith, and the, and the ammo to fight this war. The, our people perish from lack of knowledge so the more knowledge you gain maybe you won't be so um frustrated or so quick to say oh i'm gonna just pass it on i failed yeah you failed so get up again because you still got breath in your body so get up again and keep hitting that target in the spirit get up again and keep fasting keep praying do everything that you can do by yourself right the bible say faith without works is dead so do all that you can in faith and god go do the rest but what we're not going to do is lay down and let the devil take these kids because ultimately that's who he wants. Ultimately, that's who he wants. He wants the children. He wants to use them for his doing. He wants to turn them away from God. The kids are like the the next, um, they're the next mayors, they're the next judges, they're the next doctors, they're the next lawyers, they're the next preachers, they're the next pastors, they're the next prophets, they're the next apostles, evangelists, intercessors. We're not about to give in and just let lay down and let the devil step over us and have a blueprint on how he about to use our children when we know we're alive, able, well, blood running through our veins. We're not going down like this, sis. Inbox me if you need to because we're not doing this, okay?